Good evening, my name is Amanda Williams and I am the marketing director for Miami Ironside. I'd like to welcome everyone here tonight to Miami Ironside, a very special place here on the Upper East Side for the launch of Design Escape during Art and Design Week Miami. We have a really exciting program this week with talks at Campus Collective tomorrow, as well as again talks on Thursday and will be open every day from 11 to 6. I also want to thank our co-host tonight, Fiat Use USA, um, as well as Moroso. So without further ado, I'm going to hand it over to the uh, guest of honor for the week, which is uh, celebrated designer, artist, and architect, Ron Rad, as well as uh, Asa Bruno, who is the director of Ron Rad Architects, and our very own principal, Mr. Ofer Mislaki. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. We're very excited. Since the uh, end of last year, many changes happened. We have many more people that are part of this moment. So day to day, we're planning and we're thinking of everybody. And enjoy that uh, during the year. And of course, uh, the last uh, people to join the team are the people from Switzerland, Austin, and we thank them a lot. And I want to thank for special thanks for the for the people who worked that so so hard. And especially to Amanda over here who working on the project for um, three or four months now. And thank you for my wife. Which is very good uh, long hours when staying here. And um, in this today we I know that we showed last year um Ron Arab only showed a few of the projects that they did or are doing and I'm going to show some others. Uh, other than that I'm going to show the future project that's going to happen here in the since he was 10 and uh, he taught me everything I know and uh, we came here to look at this amazing place called Ironside and we worked on a little scheme for, for the place uh, which is the north part of this which is uh, a car park now it's a very exciting block very exciting site, a very exciting place. Uh, it's going to be not the antidote, but it's not going to be a sweet. <laughs> it's better. It's better. It's not going to be sweet as what we have here in the south. I warned over. It's not going to be as good as that. It's going to be different. Uh, but we only do our best. Uh, this is one of the first sketches that uh, we did of what we plan to do there. And I think we don't do a presentation now, but we just briefly go through what is in plan for this space. Basically, the idea is to make to make it very legible, to make a uh, make everyone look at it and recognize the component of the scheme. It's basically uh, three components. One is a ring, like a, like a flyover. Um, so there's like a, like a motorway, elevator. We want to keep the ground free. And then instead of Support like columns, we have buildings, coping it. We 
we call them the teeth. It's like teeth and gum. And then we can we have some we have two buildings that are very, very, very uh, tentative and free to pay whatever function uh, that we ask to perform. Um, as a so we take them for it. Hello everyone. Um, we'll show you a couple of very quick slides of the teaser just to give you a feeling for what will happen uh, here over the next few years. We are, we are sitting in this room here. And if you look north, this will all be developed in the course of the next three or four years. And we'll include, as well suggested, a series of buildings that serve different purposes. Uh, some of them will have showrooms and galleries, very similar to this space. Uh, some will have uh, studios for visiting artists and designers. But the main principle is to create a series of courtyards where people could hang out and spend their time and come here and uh, enjoy a peaceful relief from other more typical uh, spaces in Miami, the same Miami Beach or South You can see in this slide these studio buildings uh, along Main Road, and then the Bring the bronze right, which is this upper deck where you can drop in, recycle in, and then the two buildings. Very quickly, a series of slides that show you these courtyards. The view from above the ring. I mean, what, what, we can, what we can see is on one side, we have the railway. On one side we have the railway, on the other side we have the road, the access road. So, uh, the railway side, we build a wall that is uh, going in and out, separating different roads, and also help support the motorway. And then here's the, the south tower, which is what you see here. Will contain apartments or uh, short lived apartment hotel uh, for visiting, uh, people visiting Miami for periods of three months, four months, six months. Uh, and the building in the north will become a very free entity of approximately 20 stories with studios and galleries that will be customized. So just to wrap this up, this is a very preliminary sneak preview of this project, just to give you an idea of what's coming in the next year or two. Um, and now we're going to show you some of the other things we're doing that are slightly more progressive than this. Um, you notice there's some fear presence here. I have a funny long uh, relationship with fear. Almost a lot of fear. About 35, 40 years ago, when I came back from Rome, I was impressed that Rome is full of fear 500. You don't know this car in America because it was never street legal. The bumper was too low, so it wasn't allowed to come to America. Um, but I remember falling in love with the Fiat 500 in Rome. I came back to London and on the way back from Israel to my home, in a red traffic light, I saw a little Fiat 500. So I opened the window of the taxi and I shouted to this, the driver of the Fiat, are you selling? He said, yes. He said, how much? He said, 500. And uh, he gave me his address, and he did. Uh, very, very near me. The next day was my car. Uh, later, my students in the Royal College of Art painted it in a glowing dark paint. 
and eventually it stopped working. Uh, so it was parked in a courtyard in the studio. Uh, I refused to get rid of it and I didn't fix it and it was wasting away. And I told this car one day it would come out. I didn't know exactly what it was what I meant. Um, so we waited for years there, rusting away. And what where are we? And they opened a new museum in Moscow, and 
to the 500 tons uh, press and we had to build this plate. The idea was to make them as thin as paper. And by the end of the day, by lunchtime actually, we had this lump. And then we had to send it to Italy to make them gallery friendly. Um, and uh, there's the yellow one, there's the white one, there's the blue one, and so forth. And the thing is that uh, there was the one that became a favorite one. Each one has a different favorite one, which pleased me a lot. For the show, Fiat uh, left me the original wooden butt, the wooden wall first ever fear that was designed by some of the bloggers at Dante Giacosa and it's one of the most beautiful objects I've ever seen. The only danger is you're not, you don't want in your own show to have the most beautiful piece in the show by, that, by someone else. So we had to do this piece here, which is uh, a status in world version. Uh, if you really want to see what it looks like, I think if you go to the uh, Miami Art Plaza, you see a piece of furniture made in the same technique, which is uh, which relies on amazing Italian artisans. This piece took six months, six people to go to work every day and build the car road by road. Uh, welding it. I love the green side as much as I love the gray side. Just to give an example, every corner has to be sculpted. Is it all fine? It's 
So we started oops, studying um, imprints of what happens. This is the breast experiment. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 